Does it scare you? Because I think the truth burns, now doesn't it, God? They say the reason that you failed to participate, the reason why you're not stopping pedophiles from touching and murderers from stabbing, is because it would take away our free will. Because it would make us slaves. You know what, God? I think they might be right. Because I don't remember reading any stories of you ever getting involved anywhere in the Bible. Oh, that's right. That's what the whole thing's about, isn't it? Daniel in the lion's den. Noah's Ark. The three brothers in the furnace. Repeated appearances from angels. The burning bush. Jesus walking on water. Jesus multiplying food. Jesus turning water into wine. Oh, and did I forget to mention his resurrection into zombie mode? How many more stories do I need to recite for you before you realize that you're so very wrong? Either accept that you have no free will whatsoever, accept that you have a weak and sadistic God, or accept that there's no God at all. Someone decided to quote the Bible in my comment section. Matthew 16, 27, For the Son of Man shall come in the glory of his Father with his angels, and then he shall reward every man according to his works. Oh, that's great, almighty Lord. Even though my family was raped and murdered, I'm so glad that I get a reward from you. God forbid you actually get involved and save my family. Maybe that's the reward I wanted all along. But no, 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 it just wouldn't be fair. Even though you did it for the Jews and parting the Red Sea, you can't do crap for me, because then I would just be so unhappy with my lack of free will. I wonder what my reward is, oh Lord. What is my reward? Is it 72 virgins? Is it a pile of gold? Is it anything that matters? You watching this video right now, what if you were the rape victim? What if you were the one who lost the family members? What would you think of God exactly, knowing he could have done something but did nothing? Oh, I've already proven to you that he could have, because he did it before, which means he can do it again. There wasn't much mention of old daddy saving people's butts back then. Why would it be a problem today? Oh, that's right, it's because of modern technology. You see, God is actually camera shy. It would be just a horrible thing if we were to catch any proof of him existing whatsoever. You're just supposed to believe what people tell you. Don't worry, it'll all pay off in the end. Dedicate your whole life and 10% of your paycheck to this bullcrap. Mark 9:42. And whoever shall offend one of these little ones that believe in me, it is better for him that a milestone were hanged around his neck and he were cast into the sea. Big words from the big man, God. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna let someone rape my family? Are you gonna let someone come over here and kill me? Because I know you can't do anything directly because you're so powerless. When you finally decide to show your face, are you gonna unleash your uber awesome Morpheus mutant powers on me? Are you gonna have your army of clone angels rip me limb from limb as I cry for your mercy? What are you gonna do, God? What are you gonna do for this little boy you love so much? What are you gonna do for me? I don't have a cocaine addiction or some horrific unresolved problem. I wasn't a whore in high school. My wife didn't leave me. I don't have any kids to stop loving me. So what exactly do you got on me, God? I mean, look at all of your followers. Look at all the problems they have. They found you for salvation. Nothing like lies to make you feel like you're not a piece of garbage. And to think of what it would be like without religion. To think people would actually be held accountable for all their wrongdoings. To take away the rapist's well-deserved meal of forgiveness so he can go on thinking as a good person and do it all over again. To take away the guilt from the man who has an insatiable love for little girls. Now where would we be without you, God? Someone asked me an absolutely delightful question. Why, oh why, do you atheists pick on us Christians? I wouldn't call myself an atheist, but I'd be glad to answer that for you. Let's start out with Proposition 8. Or how about let's talk about the abortion issue a little bit. How about every single weekday going to school and being forced to pledge allegiance to one country and one god? How about imposing your religion on us by showing up on our doorstep telling us what sinners we are? You're really the victim in this situation, as if your religion wasn't printed on our dollar bill. The politicians that run our nation constantly, openly praise your god, forgetting about separation between church and state. It's all fun and games when you follow or tell the pagans they're going to hell because you completely misunderstand their religion. 
It's all fun and games when you tell people walking into an abortion clinic because they were raped and don't want to spawn a Satan coming out of them that they're also going to hell for making the right decision. Let's not forget your passive gay bashing by voting on Proposition 8, and you can say that it's not in the Bible all you like. Maybe you should read it sometime. You know, God, you and I have something in common, you see. When I have a problem with someone, I tend to also cast them out of my ideal heaven. Though the difference between the people that I cast out and the people that you cast out is I'm not related to them. I didn't create them. I didn't say I love them and then turn my back on them. One of the hypothetical fallen angels of mine decided to say that I'm a wolf in sheep's clothing. Do you want to know what a sheep is? A sheep is someone who relies on a higher being for survival because without them, well, they're just lamb chops. Meanwhile, a wolf is someone who can survive on their own. A wolf is someone who relies on themselves and does everything for themselves because they know that there is no shepherd. I have been so honest to you about who I am. Can you say the same about your God? Another person with an opinion had something else to say. They told me that the acts of a small amount of Christians could not define Christianity as a whole. That they could not be held responsible for the insignificant and far and few in between Christians that do wrong. Well, let me tell you, kids. I have a question for you. How small and insignificant is Adolf Hitler? That's right! Hitler was a Catholic. Look it up! Seems you and the mass murderer have a whole lot more in common than you thought. And you know what? That man might end up being in heaven. You wanna know why? Because there's this thing that you made up called redemption. There's this thing called repentance. Pedophiles, rapists, and murderers. They can all go to heaven. But Gandhi... He was Hindu. Looks like we're all gonna be having a party with Gandhi in hell. That sounds way worse than hanging out with a bunch of child molesters. You know, I think some people are scared of my subscribers because I keep getting emails and not comments completely bashing me. Oh, come on, faithful follower. You have God on your side. What is there to fear? A few thousand of my friends? First, they used the cliche attack of calling me ignorant. You know, because I didn't go to church for 11 years against my own will, being forced to listen to the bullcrap teachings of Christianity. And then they questioned my facts, saying that the devil wasn't actually kicked out of hell, he just walked his butt right on out. You know, I'm gonna give you something fresh and new. It's called honesty. I know you're not familiar with it. But here we go. You know, I'm a little bit rusty. I haven't stepped foot in a church in over seven years, and I haven't been a Christian for 12. So I went ahead and looked it up. This is where it gets really interesting. Why would you make fun of someone for speaking based on their memory? When you yourself fail to look at the facts, it's just a Google search away, and you didn't do it. I do realize that we're speaking of a hypothetical text, a book of lies. But I went ahead and looked into it anyway. What I found was that Lucifer was indeed kicked out of heaven. Oh, and something else. God kicked him. A fact and a lie. I didn't think I would find one. But when I did find it, oh boy, did I block you. Now you may ask, why did I block you? Is it because I'm being prejudiced? Is it because I don't like Christians? Why don't you take a look at all the Christians who left feedback who didn't use swear words? You know, when you're on someone else's page and you're watching their video, there is something called professionalism and ethics. Because after all, I'm not the one who's spewing swear words. I'm not the one condemning you to an eternity of torture. And to be honest with you, I don't care if I convert you or make you see the light. I'm not here for you. I'm just doing what others did not do for me, which is offer me a little peace of mind so when the Christians came up and pushed their bull crap in my face, I would actually have something to say. Continue bumbling and stumbling in confusion over all the lies you've been trained to believe. Continue crying out of frustration because no matter how hard you pray, bad things keep happening to you. Get on your knees and please, Jesus, satisfy your mighty Lord. Regardless of the claims that your almighty morphin power lord is going to come to earth and unleash his hateful wrath on his beloved children. Even if you kill us all off, the times thereafter still remain corrupted. You see, free will is what makes me say these things. Unless God takes away your free will, 
Do you really think you'll last that long? You really think that a former police officer who meets a pedophile in heaven isn't gonna have a problem with him? Would you trust that pedophile, even though you are in heaven, around your kids? You really think it's so simple as eternal happiness. You know, heaven didn't work out so great for Lucifer. I wonder how long you'll last. And one last note before I hopefully retire this subject forever. To anyone who is so religiously warped that they unsubscribe to this channel because of my opinion. To anyone who wants to show prejudice by taking action due to religious difference. I whipped up a little remix for all of you. I hope you can enjoy the tune as I do.